okay so today uh, is a uh, weather welfare state has impact on the literacy a case study of Maria land so the this one uh, is our uh, this one is our uh, subject matter for today so that means uh, whether welfare state the policy of the welfare state has a impact on the rate of literacy a case study of Maria land and here uh, we shall be using dummy variable we, we shall be uh, using dummy variable to check whether welfare state policy has an impact on the literacy in Maria land so uh, and the summary of, of the modeling so the the modeling the summary that means steps uh, involved steps uh, involved here so there are four steps step number one step number two step number three and step number four first we talk about step step number one okay step number one first we need to find out the order of integration of the variables by employing augmented Dickey Fuller and Phillips Paron test so that is our first test and second steps if the variables are integrated of the same order we can apply Johansen Juslias test to obtain the number of co-integrated vector and the third step if the Johansen Juslias suggests that variables are co-integrated then we shall develop an error correction model in VECM environment so that is step number three and step number four then uh, we shall be checking all the diagnostic checking of the error correction model where the rate of literacy would be the dependent variable so I'm saying again then we shall be developing all diagnostic checking of the error correction model where the rate of literacy would be the, would be the dependent variable and desirable model should not have any serial correlation should not have any arch effect and and uh, should not have non normality in the residual okay so so here uh, we shall be following all the four step okay first I talk about our model our model we have three variables such as literacy rate GDP and investment in a hypothetical country like Maria land and 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 uh, this model is a time series model from 1980 to 2010 
and then I talk about our objective. Our objective is to develop an error correction model under VECM environment to check whether welfare state has a positive impact on the literacy rate in in Maria land that we want to check today so I'm telling again what you want to check whether the welfare state policy has a impact on the on the rate of literacy in Maria land and here we have employed dummy variable so and our data is from 1980 to 2010 and here I have used the dummy variable to capture the effect of welfare state on the rate of literacy in Maria land and here dummy variable will be zero when Maria land was not a welfare state and 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 Maria land uh, from 1980 to 1999 the Maria land was not a welfare state so then the dummy variable will be zero and while dummy variable will be 1 when Maria land became a welfare state and that is from the year 2000 to 2010 okay so meaning that dummy will be 0 from 1980 until 1999 and the dummy will be 1 from the 2000 until 2010 okay now if this dummy variable is found significant and positive meaning that welfare state has a positive effect on the rate of literacy in Maria land so I uh, here here I'm telling again if the dummy variable is found significant and positive then only we can say the welfare state uh, uh, which is taken by Maria land has a positive effect on the rate of literacy in Maria land okay so then we talk about unit root test right here we have assumed that all the variables such as rate of literacy, GDP and investment have unit root at level. But, but when I do the first differencing, they become stationary. So it is my assumptions. Here we can use the augmented Dickey Fuller test to check the unit root. The typical augmented Dickey Fuller test is given below equation 1.1. And but here I am not testing the unit root, but just assuming that that the rate of literacy GDP and investment 
becomes stationary after fast differencing. So here I am not testing the unit root. I am just assuming without testing I am just assuming all the three variables uh, become stationary after first differencing. That means uh, at l l level at level all these three variables are non-stationary but after first difference they become stationary that I assume okay okay then I talk about test of co-integration if the variables are integrated of the same order we can apply the johansen Juslias maximum likelihood method of co-integration right so that we can do all the time to attain the number of co-integrating vector right uh, so here as we have assumed that rate of literacy GDP and investment are integrated of the same order so we can easily apply Johansen Justlias test of co-integration to obtain the number of co-integrating vectors so uh, so that is the guidelines all uh, we can apply the Johansen test when when the variables are integrated in the same order and our variables three variables are also in integrated of the same order so we can run the Johansen test of co-integrations okay Johansen Justlias multivariate model is given below 1.2 it is the model and here xt is the vector of all the three variable and delta is a symbol of the difference operator and et is the vector of residual BC model has information about the short run and long run adjustment to changes in XT via the estimated parameters respectively here the expression this one is the error correction term so this one is the error correction term is the error correction term and this one can be factored into two separate matrices uh, so so, uh, so 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 two separate matrices so that it becomes like this this become like this where beta denotes the vector of co-integrating parameters while alpha is the vector of error correction coefficient measuring the speed of co convergence to the long run steady state okay. and our variables so after running the co integration equation what has happened our variables such as literacy rate, GDP and investment are found to be co-integrated after running the Johansen Justlias test meaning that they share a common stochastic trend and will grow proportionately in other words they move together 
in the long run or they have long run association shape then we talk about error correction model right if the variables are found to be cointegrated we can specify an error correction model and estimate it using standard method and diagnostic test okay as as the rate of literacy gdp and investment are cointegrated an error correction model uh, could have the following form after incorporating dummy variable in equation 1.3 so here you can see the error correction model 1.3 equation and here is the dummy variable you can see and this one is the error correction term this one is the error correction term you can see and it is the dummy variable and so on and here beta alpha and m are the coefficient and uh, ec1 is the error correction term and z2 is the coefficient of the dummy variable and e is the residual and the uh, ec1 is the lagged value of the residual derived from the cointegrating co model of of the cointegrating model of the rate of literacy on GDP and investment right actually from here from here we can get the residual and we can use the residual as a error correction term okay and finally if the z2 what is z2 the coefficient of dummy variable you can see from here if the z2 the coefficient of dummy variable is found and found positive and significant meaning that welfare state policy has a positive impact on our dependent variable and and, and that is the rate of l l l l the, the the sorry that is the rate of literacy in equation 1.3 you can see from here I am telling again if the Z2 the coefficient of dummy variable meaning that this one if the Z2 is positive like this and if the Z2 is significant meaning that the welfare state has a positive impact on on the on the on the dependent variable what is our dependent variable the rate of literacy the rate of literacy is our dependent variable so and here we have taken lag one in the error correction model so here uh, I have taken only lag one 
in the error correction model so actually these are all lag you can see from here uh, so so suppose this one is the lag here is the lag here is the lag right here is the lag here is the lag so I have taken here only one lag so that is the whole model of the error correction term and thank you very much thank you very much